Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is Susie from Sea Salt and Stitches. I'm just trying something a little bit different today. Today I want to take you along a, a nap time sewing challenge that I've given myself. Um, I basically, I'm going to be doing the one week one pattern challenge um, that's coming up at the end of the month and I have chosen the black wood cardigan and so I want to make a couple more. I have a few in my wardrobe already and I would like a couple more so I challenged myself today to see if I could sew this cardigan while the little man was napping. He's just woken up. It's just finished. I've just managed it. Spoiler! But anyway, um, I take you along sort of like a sew with me video um, where I just show you all the steps I take in making the Blackwood. So I hope you enjoy the video and keep watching. Okay, the timer has started. Let's see if I can do this. I am using this very nice um, squishy magenta coloured uh, Ponte Roma that I bought for um, a maternity skirt when I was pregnant and it doesn't have enough stretch but it would be perfect for a cardigan. I have necessities like a freshly brewed coffee, very important, and let's get going. Let's switch to the other camera. So I don't know if I'm in focus or whatever, but I gotta crack on. About 25 minutes have passed and all the pieces have been cut out. I'm not gonna do the pocket. I never really put a pocket on the Blackwood, just my personal preference. So, um, and I sew almost all of it on my overlocker um, and just do the, there's a couple of top stitching bits that I do on my normal machine with a zigzag stitch according to the instructions. Um, and I'm just using black because I don't have this colour for my overlocker and um, so it'll be fine. I'm happy enough with that. Let's get going, okay? So if I didn't mention what I'm doing, I'm sewing the shoulder seams um, of the front pieces to the back piece. Pretty simple. That, but that's the shoulder seams done so now I'm going to attach the sleeves and because it's jersey it's the nice easy peasy way doing it flat Right sides together always. No idea if this is in focus or in shot. So you pin your notches together. Should have marked the center shoulder seam on there, but it's not actually on my pattern piece, I don't think. So there's the front. One notch is, always means the front of the sleeve. Two notches always means the back of the sleeve. Pin in place, and you've just got this bit in the middle. You've just got to sort of ease. Make sure your seam that you've already sewn is pointing towards the back. And then I think that's probably 
probably about the middle there. I may adjust that in a second, we'll see. And you just got to ease this in a bit. It's easy enough because the fabric stretches. Do this side, yeah, I think it's not quite right. wonky cutting as well by me <laughs> I wonder if any of this is actually in the shot I'm so sorry quality filming done by me Don't be afraid of pins. Use all the pins. If you need pins, just use them. Just go nice and slow. Right, time to sew it. Top tip I have when I'm sewing with my overlocker, I always use my hands. I'm always feeling the fabric underneath. If it's bunching up, and smoothing it out. Don't be afraid to stop make sure that everything is beautifully smooth no wrinkles in the fabric before you start moving on it is possible to unpick overlocker stitches obviously but <laughs> it's not fun lovely I'm showing it to you upside down. Beautiful and smooth, love it. Really happy with that. On to the next one. simple step now. Sew up the side seams. Just make sure you match your underarm seam. I like to put my um, seams actually going in opposite directions just to reduce the bulk there. If you had both of those sitting on top of each other it would be a bit lumpy under your arm. There are no other markings, so just make sure you match up the end of your sleeve. Make sure it's all lying really smooth. You don't want a twisted sleeve. That would not look good. Likewise, just make sure you lie everything down nice and flat. If everything was cut out properly, it'll match up. You can see my my cutting wasn't perfectly smooth, but the overlocker fixes that. So I never really worry too much about having a smooth seam or smooth outline when I know that I'm going to be sewing it together with my overlocker because the knife cuts that nice and neat anyway. So all along there, likewise, I'm going to be sewing all around there, okay? Right. <laughs> oh, my camera battery is running out, so now I have a double challenge. Can I get the black wood made before my child wakes up and before the camera runs out of battery? <laughs> I do 
wonder what my neighbours think of my noisy overlocker. I'm sure they love it when I'm sewing. Okay, sleeves are on. Next it's the cuffs. Cuffs can be a little bit um, confusing if you've never done them before because how to sew them sort of is slightly counterintuitive. But there's the cuff piece there. What we're going to do first is actually fold it that way. Sew along that bit there. Then we can fold it over itself so that it's like a doubled over cuff and then that raw edge gets sewn to the end of the sleeve. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Right, this is actually not my favorite bit. It is it is pretty t fiddly. But the cuffs are so lovely, it's totally worth it. Okay. Try and get those cuff seams to not quite lie on top of each other. There's so much bulk there, especially with this kind of fabric. Hard, a lot harder for the machine. To sew over. Try and make sure all the layers are even. <clears throat> I like to do as much pinning together as possible before I start sewing. Then there's a bit less stopping and starting. What about you guys? Do you do that as well? Do you do that with pressing? You may have noticed I'm not pressing this cardigan. Um, I, I know that this fabric will go shiny if I were to put an iron on it, so I'd need to use a pressing cloth. And to be honest, I really don't think it is affecting the end result or my seams too much. I press other things as I go religiously, but not really jersey. I don't really press jersey that much while I'm sewing it. It depends. It depends on the project. Just not this one. Okay, let's see. I do sew the cuffs quite slowly. They are just so fiddly. Just getting all those layers in line. You want to make sure you don't accidentally sew a big gaping hole. Like by missing the underneath layer. Well matched up, isn't it? Happy with that. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Next one. Always take the time to move your fabric out of the way. You definitely don't want your overlocker to, to chew into fabric that accidentally got caught underneath. And you have a massive big hole in the random part of your garment. Normally, you can't fix that very easily without a patch job. Just take your time and be careful while you're sewing. Right, we're nearly there. We've just got the hemband to do 
and the front pan to do and then we're done. Okay, here's our hem band piece. Really simple to attach this. We are going to do wrong sides together this time. And you just line up your notches. Okay, just fold it in half. Line up your notches. These are then going to line up with your. There, there we go. Now, now it's right sides together. It's the bottom of our thing. Let's make sure the seams are going that way. Again, impress that. I don't want to. And then line this up. To be honest, it's going to be easier to. I'm going to turn it around because it's going to be easier for me to pin. Line it up with your side notches with the side seams. Make your seam allowances point towards the back if you have sewn it on the overlocker. This is actually coming out a little bit bigger. It's okay. Hopefully. <laughs> This is where you panic. Right, if it's too small. <laughs> I have no idea if this is in shot. How many times do I say that in a video? I'm sick of saying it. Right, here we go. Here we go, nice and easy. Again, you probably don't need to pin this very much. There we go. Then we're going to sew all along there. Easy. Time check, we're at one hour and 10 minutes and I'm getting a bit fed up and could really do with a break myself. Um, but I want to get it done. And I'm so close to finishing. I'm just going to crack on and get it done. So I've decided I'm actually going to top stitch the um, seam of the hemband um, down. I think it'll look neater. The wee man is moving, so my time might be up. Let's see. So because it's top stitching, doing it on the this on the sewing machine. A walking foot on this, so hopefully that will make it go through my machine smoother, not all wobbly. I'm actually doing a zigzag stitch, which is not what I normally do a top stitch with when I'm sewing jersey. I normally use my twin needle, but the instructions in the Blackwood have you top stitch the front band down with a zigzag and I quite like it, it's alright, so just for continuity I'm just going to keep that the same.
would press that. When I'm all done, I'll press that hem. And that should smooth it out. Front band, and then we're done! Yes! Okay, big camera is having a freak out for some reason, so I'm gonna sew, uh, film a bit on my phone instead. So this is my front band pieces. I have to sew the short sides with the notch together to make one long piece. Seam allowances stay the same, one centimeter. Fold it right sides together all along. Small edges get sewn together and the edges or the corner clipped. However, because I'm going to sew it on the overlocker, I don't really need to clip it. It's fine. Okay, turn them around that way. See, it's a good point. Use your fingers, your finger press, and it's fine. It's a good it's jersey, you see. It's handy. That kind of thing. Yeah. And the other one, again. Wow, you're going to be pinning it to the front now, so. Okay, I'm going to pin this to the front of the cardigan now. Okay guys, here's the front of my cardigan. Here's my front band. I am now going to pin it in place. So, I'm going to line up in important places first. So. Getting that matched at the hem is very important. I'm also going to make sure it's not twisted. Okay, here we go. Notch. Line up the notches. Here's another notch. That's for the shoulder seam. This notch here. Shoulder seam. Pop that in. The only stretching there is is across the back. As in, I'm going to have to stretch the neckband. So I'm going to leave that and just get the next notch. stretch that on the machine as we're sewing it. I'll be fine. Nearly there guys, nearly there. Battery's nearly dead. Okay, I'm sewing the front band on. Stitching, and then we're done, and I'm exhausted. Oh, I have a sore back. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Just keep sewing, just keep sewing. What do you do? You sew, sew. So Ta -da! it's done. Take the 
me two hours and two minutes um, from a flat bit of fabric to a black wood cardigan and monitors there he's starting to move a little bit so I made it just in time yay doo, doo, doo. anyway guys I'm really happy with this this is part of my one week one pattern um, collection for <laughs> for the challenge there he's waking up now he can hear me chatting he's wondering what's going on <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, something a little bit different. I might do a few more of these naptime sewing videos so you can join in with my sewing. Um, tell me what you think, if you enjoyed it, if you learned anything, I hope so. I did try and add in little tips and, and um, tidbits in there, so hopefully you found it interesting and not too boring. Obviously, it was two hours for me, definitely not two hours for you. <laughs> anyway, see you next week with another video. Bye guys.